Our next tutorial is about this panel up here. So we have this icons here, application icons, desktop one, desktop two. We have the system icons and our clock calendar. If you want to change those, where should we go? Well, let's go first for fuel screen here, full screen mode. This is called the Tint 2 panel. So it's a program called Preferences Tint 2. You can choose a completely new Tint 2, just click it, and then you can choose any of these here. But I'd rather you use another program. And this is also, let's go over the other one, restart if anything goes wrong. You can restart the line here. You can edit the text, which is quite geeky. So going into the text mode. But the fun stuff is here in the Tint 2 GUI, which makes it quite easy. You see in advance what it will look like. You can change it. So do remember where the file is, .config tint2. This is the file we're looking at, the same. And these are all possibilities. You can scroll down and see, maybe you like the look like this, a glass look, and so on and so on. And then when you decide this is gonna be my panel, then you can change it again. So you go to this button here, configuration and rather than typing everything in the commands I mean in the text file you say my background should have another color my fill color should be this my border color should be that my panel should be on the top fine no it should be on the bottom just click it here and everything can be changed appearances active tasks default task urgent task all these elements can be changed. These are the launchers. One, two, three, four. And we have here the launches that we can decide in here, launchers. But the launcher is that part. The task bar is going to be this part. System tray is going to be these icons up there. And the clock is going to be the clock. And anything else you decide to take, you just pop it over to the left side and switch it around and that's it quite easy the taskbar is all the elements you open up this is in my taskbar this is in my taskbar the task buttons eh? the left click what can we do if we left click we toggle or iconify we can do also other stuff and that's maybe a bit of danger, but it depends what you want to do. Right click, toggle, which is okay. But if you can say no, close, then it will close it. I've chosen to, if I right click the program, I don't toggle it, I close it. So you can choose whatever you want to do with it. So it depends, even middle click, which I do not use, but can use it as well. You can tell anything to the system here. The launcher, so we have these Chromium, Tunar, Genie and Termite and one that's not necessary anymore. Next release will, uh, will be gone. So we don't want this one. That's a leftover from the installation. So Chromium, Tunar, Genie, Termite. We want other programs. Scroll down, choose another program. We were talking about Let's see what we can do. Ah, VLC. A VLC will be added and we apply it. And there you see we have this icon of VLC. The clock is the way it is. Hours, minutes. But if we want to have days and years, then you should do something. But I'll leave that to another tutorial. So I'm going to customize my open box completely. System, system tray, system tray, these things here, okay, how should that look, etc, etc, right to left, monitor one, battery, I do not have one, it's a desktop, but if you do, you can set some things here, and then the tooltip, 
the delays and all that. So this is the screen. You should not go into detail in, in, in the text file, I mean then. This is detail enough. Go inside here, change it. My suggestion is change one thing, apply it, check it. And if you don't like it, you can undo it. You still remember what you did. It, uh, one by one, change elements and you can uh, make the panel your own. Have fun.